Hello students, how are you all? I just hope that you all are safe at your places. Now students, uh, be safe, eat healthy food and avoid going out, okay? And uh, be regular with your studies also as I'm receiving very few home assignments. So just be regular with your assignments. Keep sending your assignments in time, okay? And let's continue our chapter, chapter, uh, chapter number one. Which is introduction to chemistry. Earlier I told you about the apparatus that, uh, that are used in the uh, chemistry laboratory. Okay. So now uh, we'll be doing today the importance of chemistry in agriculture uh, and its products and other uses of chemistry. Okay. So let's start with the uh, first one which is agriculture. How chemistry uh, it is important in agriculture. Agriculture, you know, it is the growing of crops. That means when uh, the farmers, they grow crops or they grow plants in larger area, then it is called agriculture. Okay. So here in agriculture, uh, how chemistry is useful, how it is important to the farmers. Well, it is important to the plants okay how because uh, uh, chemicals they are uh, used for the fertility of the plant for the proper growth of the plant okay so these chemicals or the substances which is used to uh, uh, to improve the growth of the plants are known as fertilizers okay so fertilizers are the substance to improve fertility and supply plant nutrients essential for growth. So there are some chemicals that are spread on uh, plants or crops to kill insects that are harmful for the plants, okay, or harmful for the crops. Uh, they not only, these chemicals not only kill insects, they also inhibit the growth of unwanted plants that are grown along with the crops okay so these are known as herbicides so herbicides they are the chemicals that are sprayed on the plants to inhibit the growth of the unwanted plant and uh, pesticides are used to uh, kill insects uh, that are harmful for the for the growth of the plants okay so examples of fertilizers are ammonium nitrate urea and phosphatic fertilizers okay and Examples of pesticides are herbicides. Now herbicides are the chemicals that are used to kill or inhibit growth of unwanted plants. And insecticides are the chemicals that are sprayed on the plants uh, to kill or to kill insects that are harmful for the plants. And then comes termiticides. They are the chemicals that are sprayed on the uh, termites. Termites, you know, they are also insects and they... Uh, what they do they also harmful for the plants for the growth of the plants okay now students uh, let us talk about the products chemistry has initiated the production of many different types of products okay and uh, chemistry it is uh, used in many areas uh, and uh, mostly in every areas chemistry is involved Okay, be it your daily routine, be it your household, industries, agriculture or many areas are there where chemistry is involved. Okay, now let's start with the food. Food that we eat. Whenever we uh, cook food, what we use? We use oil, cooking oil. So, uh, be it your refined, be it your uh, mustard oil or your vanaspati ghee all these oils cooking oils or ghee they go through chemical processes okay so this is how uh, chemistry it is used in food industry okay so we what we get what type of different types of food products that we get we get refined oils we uh, get clarified butter we get here we uh, uh, here refined oils butter then cheese also processed cheese are there 
uh, which is available in shops in markets that also uh, go through various chemical reactions and then uh, it is it reaches us okay so this is all about food not only ghee butter or cheese many other uh, foods are there uh, uh, which involves chemistry uh, food preservatives that are added in jams that are added in pickles and in other packaged foods uh, chemistry is involved then comes construction now in a uh, construction site you must have observed many different types of construction materials like cement like mortar like uh, other uh, construction materials like glass they all are construction materials that means material construction materials means materials that are used to build uh, either buildings house bridge etc okay so all these construction materials they also go through chemical processes or we can say they are chemical compounds then comes clothing means whatever clothes we wear they also go through uh, many chemical processes uh, mainly uh, polyester rayon and uh, nylon all these uh, fibers they are actually uh, artificial fibers they are not natural fiber and they also go through chemical reactions silk is actually the natural fiber but it also go through chemical processes then comes household in daily household what we use we use lpg which is cooking gas so cooking gas also that uh, food preservatives that are added in uh, pickles jams and other food products then uh, utensils like uh, non stick they are also a uh, product of chemistry then all the electronic items they all go through chemical processes in industry then comes daily usage okay daily usage uh, in daily usage paints dyes ink paper right now i'm using this whiteboard marker okay and this is it has ink so it is also a product of chemistry as it has uh, it has gone through chemical processes then in industries metals and alloys they are used in different types of machines in industries so they also go through uh, chemical processes okay and then lastly we have petrol diesel kerosene all these three products are actually the product of petroleum that it is actually derived from the petroleum and it is derived with the uh, with the use of chemistry okay so this is how all the products all different types of products we get chemists and scientists and their contribution to the chemistry okay so there are some chemists there are some scientists who gave contribution to the chemistry so here are the names of the chemists or scientists and their contribution so the first one is dimitri mendeleev dimitri mendeleev he was the russian scientist and he was born in 1834 and what he devised he devised the periodic table of elements now what is this periodic table of elements it is a table in which elements they are arranged in a systematic way okay and he also discovered the periodic law that you are going to study later on then uh, the second one is antoine lavoisier now antoine lavoisier he was a french scientist and he was born in 1743 and what did he uh, recognize he recognized and then named hydrogen and oxygen gases okay 
hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. He recognized it and he named it also. Then comes John Dalton. Now John Dalton, he was the English scientist and uh, what he uh, discovered? He discovered the Dalton's atomic theory. He actually proposed the term Dalton's atomic theory. Uh, it was his theory that matter consists of tiny particles called atoms. Okay. So it was his theory and he proposed it. And then comes Van Helmont. Now Van Helmont, uh, he discovered carbon dioxide. And how he uh, discovered carbon dioxide? He uh, heated with charcoal in air from which the gas came out. And the uh, gas was carbon dioxide. Okay. So he discovered carbon dioxide gas. And there are other scientists also. Uh, which is given in the book. But here we are discussing only few. Now students uh, comes important role of chemistry in food industry. Or we can say how chemistry it is useful in food industry. So in two ways it is important. First is food preservatives and the second one is food processing. Now what is food preservatives? Food pre preservatives, you know, uh, preservatives, they are actually added into the food. They are mostly found in uh, jams, pickles, etc. Uh, so, food preservatives, what are food, food preservatives? They are the substances or chemicals that are added into the food. Why uh, these preservatives or chemicals, they are added? It is because to prevent the food to get decomposed by the bacteria or uh, other microorganisms okay and secondly so that uh, the food uh, doesn't get spoiled and uh, it doesn't cause foodborne infections okay and thirdly uh, to increase its shelf life okay so that it lasts longer uh, food is preservatives uh, is Use. They are used in the food. Okay. And uh, it also increases uh, its nutritional value also. So that's why food preservatives they are added into the food. Now food preservatives uh, they are of many types. The first one is benzoic acid. Benzoic acid they are mostly found in the food items like jams, pickles and other uh, carbonated drinks. The secondly, second one is nitrates. Nitrates, uh, these are the types of food preservatives that are found in meat products. Okay, And meat products like uh, the products that are mainly made of meat like uh, chicken nuggets, like uh, kebabs, uh, etc. Now, the third one is Sulfur compounds, okay. So, sulfur compounds are mainly found in beverages, all the beverages, wines, etc. So, uh, food preservatives, they are added to the food to increase its nutritional value and increase its uh, shelf life also and to prevent it from the decomposition, okay. Then comes food processing. Now, what is this food processing? Food processing uh, is actually uh, the, uh, it includes many processes like uh, mincing, cooking, etc. And it is actually uh, a method to change raw, raw product or raw ingredient into marketable uh, product. Okay. Uh, how? Uh, let me explain you with an example. For example, Chips or wafers that you eat. You eat Lay's, potato chips, etc. So all these uh, products, food products, they are processed. They all are processed. They go through many processes and then it reaches us to uh, us in the uh, different form. Okay. So potato chips, it is actually made from potato, which is a raw ingredient. Potato is the raw ingredient. Then the potato is sliced, then it is cooked, 
cooked then many uh, chemicals are added then they are processed and then finally it reaches to the market okay and that's how uh, food processing it involves physical or chemical uh, processes to change or transform uh, raw ingredients into marketable product okay so it uh, involves many processes like mincing then cooking then pickling then preservative addition then canning that means to put them into cans then packaging then they are packaged or uh, they are made into packets and then they are taken to the marketplace okay so from where uh, it reaches us then uh, this is how food processing uh, it occurs and it is mainly used in the sugar industry uh, then fish processing then meat packaging then vegetables uh, canning and uh, in uh, packing snacks etc so uh, this is how food processing is done and how in food processing food preservatives they are added okay